I want to teach you the distance runners minimal program for strength training. Now, I mean minimal. This is the least you can do and still get by with uh, by increasing 10% each week. Uh, basically, you've got to be doing strength training if you want to reduce your likelihood for injury. So, the basics I would recommend, starting with single leg squat, so just doing at least three sets of 10 to 30 single leg squats, just like this, all your weight evenly balanced. So evenly balanced on your two forefoot and your heel, or the two points in your forefoot and your heel here. And the first motion is to unlock your knee and then sit back. I don't want you bending forward like this. That'll just create more problems in the knee. So again, single leg squat where you're hinging back, and the reality is, as a distance runner, you don't have to go very deep, right? Because in distance running, you only get about that low, unless you're running up or down steep hills. So first, single leg squat, somewhere between 10 reps and 30 reps for one to three sets, okay? Next, I would recommend core stability of some kind. So you can do many different combinations. I like just a plank series. So if you're doing prone plank like this, you can, uh, you can just start with this for time, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. And when that gets too easy, then you can start marching in place where you're slowly transitioning. What you don't want is when you lift for your hips to move. We don't want any motion through your hips. You're gonna have a little bit of lateral sway, but you should be able to just lift up and down like this without a lot of motion uh, in your hip. Same thing on the side, you start <clears throat> with a side plank, and then as that gets comfortable, then you can raise up and do more, uh, I shouldn't say as it gets comfortable, as it gets easier, then you can do that. So 30, 30 seconds to a minute on both of those. Uh, another option you should cut up is lying on your stomach like this and just doing a Superman. I would do this one for 30 as well as a supine, so laying on your back and holding this position again, neutral spine here, and just lifting your hips just barely off so you can slide your hand underneath. You don't have to go up high, but just coming off. Now you have to be careful with this one because you can pull your hamstring really easy if you don't have much strength. So if you can't lift your hips off, just barely decrease the weight of your bottom on the ground and when you get strong enough you can lift your hips up from there and that'll be better. So those are just good for basic strengthening. Uh, you don't have to move from there but just holding that anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, just one set of each of those. If you feel inclined you certainly can do more up to three. So single leg squat side. Now probably the only other thing I would add would be lower extremity strengthening. So dorsiflexion which is pointing up, and calf raises. So it can be as simple as hanging your heel off a curb. I'll show you here since it's, we're set up for that. So just like this, when you first start out, you would do both at the same time, just like this, super slow. And then as you get stronger, you'll do one at a time. Again, 10 to 30 reps. Start with one set and work up to three sets. Um, so that's for calf raises. And then lastly would be dorsiflexion, which is pointing your feet up. I usually have people start against a wall. So you put one foot here, you put the other foot in front to show you how far to put your feet. And you lean against the wall like that. And then you just dorsiflex, pointing your toes up like that. So that is a very condensed but still has most of the things you need to build strength and stability in your lower body so that you can run and increase mileage without causing yourself significant injury.